Alpsat meter is a professional tool for measuring digital television signals. This is an overview of the most important functions of this device. We will start with DVB-T2 signal measurements. Here we select the DVB-T2 channel we are interested in. Meter displays the most important signal parameters. RF signal level, MER, link margin, ABR and BBR. The device allows you to preview TV channels in the DVB-T2, HEVC standard. Meter generates a constellation chart, a graphical representation of the digitally modulated signal, which helps to assess quote-unquote signal quality. Signal quality is related to the modulation error rate, MER, which informs about the amount and type of noise disturbing the signal. Modulation error rate should not be treated as a measure of quality, but as the margin we have left to complete signal loss. Another useful feature of this meter is the Spectrum Distribution Analyzer for terrestrial television signals. Spectrum Distribution Analyzer, especially for terrestrial television, allows for quick identification of DVB-T2 signals in the VHF and UHF bands. Tilt Limit function allows simultaneous measurement of up to 12 multiplexes of digital terrestrial television in the form of a bar graph. Table search function scans the entire terrestrial television band. Modifying the search parameters shortens the process. Channel list can be saved in .csv format on a thumb drive connected to the meter's USB port. Double tap on the function name generates a screenshot that will also be saved on the thumb drive. Frequency plan is a list of DVB-T2 signal frequencies specific to a given country. It is possible here to create and edit your own plans. Settings menu enables adjustments for the digital terrestrial television signal parameters. Here you can also set the power supply voltage for the preamp, 5, 12 and 20 volts DC. After measuring the digital terrestrial TV signal, it's time to check for mobile telephony and mobile internet signal interference. The meter analyzes the spectrum for frequencies in the 4G, 5G, GSM, DCS and UMTS bands. Detailed spectrum analysis will allow identifying potential sources of disruptions in digital TV reception. The last presented measurements apply to digital satellite television. We supply the meter with a signal coming from a full band legacy type converter, collecting signal from the Astra 19.2E satellite. Settings menu enables adjustments for the digital satellite signal parameters. It is also possible here to check and modify the list of available satellite positions and transponders assigned to them. Additionally, list of available converters and IF frequencies defined for unicable technology can be found here. After selecting the desired satellite, Meter displays crucial DVB-S2 signal parameters, RF signal level, MER, link margin, BBER, and ABER. Appropriate transponder can be selected from the drop-down list. Channel preview from the selected transponder in the DVB-S2 standard. In this menu, we can also choose the converter type and a control signal, for example, DICQC, that enables signal switching between satellites. Meter generates a constellation chart and displays the signal spectrum. In this case, the constellation points are blurred, they do not create a clear symbol. This translates into low modulation error rate and, consequently, 
frequent signal dropouts. Touch display enables convenient and precise spectrum analysis. Dual TP function allows for simultaneous signal measurement from two satellite positions. In this case, the satellite signal is unavailable from position A. This installation uses only one satellite. Multi-level function in single mode allows simultaneous measurement for each polarization band pairs from one satellite position. Dual mode allows simultaneous measurement for each polarization band pairs from two satellite positions. In this case, a satellite signal is unavailable from position B. Table measure function scans the entire satellite band while displaying basic parameters of each transponder. Search list containing found transponders and their parameters can be saved in .csv format on a thumb drive connected to the meter's USB port. Double tap on the function name generates a screenshot that will also be saved on the thumb drive. Cross-polarity function allows you to measure the signal according to its polarization. Autoport scan identifies the satellite to which the antenna dish is set. Meter's software can be updated by connecting it to the internet by the built-in RJ45 socket. It will check for the available updates If an update is available, those greyed out buttons will turn blue. Pressing them would start the update procedure. This meter has up to date software at the time of filming. Thank you for watching this presentation. Visit our website at dipolnet.com for more tutorials, articles, and equipment for low voltage installations.